moja they're going to report to me watakuwa wanawajibika kwangu uh, you know sometimes uh, you know we have calling unajua tuko na mwito and um I'm just trying to put everything together. So God is calling us. Mungu anatuita. God prepares. Mungu And then God sends. Na anatutuma. And you know sometimes we don't understand everything that God does. Na unajua mara nyingi hatuelewi kila kitu yenye Mungu anafanya. And it's not up to us to understand what God does. Na sio ya kwamba lazima tuelewe kila kitu yenye Mungu anafanya. Our job is to obey. Kazi yetu ni kutii. Our job is to obey to what we believe God is saying. Kazi yetu ni kutii yale tunaamini Mungu anasema. So we will see how it will go. Kwa hivyo tutaona vile itakavyoenda. You know these three people how we tattoo they have different gifts wako na mwito tofauti tofauti they have different talents wako na talanta tofauti tofauti and different talents na mwito tofauti tofauti so god is going to lead mungu ndiye ataongoza so for the ones who are not right now in the in the council kwa wale ambao hawako kwenye kamati even if you will be in the council hata kama utakuwa kwenye kamati because you will have your right to say what you think kwa sababu utakuwa na haki ya kusema yale unafikiria it doesn't mean that you are less important haijamaanisha kwamba wewe haujahesabika it just means that for now this is how it's going to be inamaanisha ya kwamba kwa sasa hivi ndivyo utakavyokuwa so uh, for the next person who actually decided to, to voluntarily to be in West Strong Tower Ministries. Kwa yule mtu mwingine aliyeamua kuwa katika Strong Tower Ministries, I would like to invite ningependa kumwalika hapo sasa. Upumue kidogo. No 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 no. Yeah. <laughs> I would like to invite Pastor Jane Alando. Ningependa kumwalika Pastor Jane Alando. Karibu, karibu. Welcome, welcome. Hallelujah. <laughs> welcome. Okay, so um Okay, for the next one, kwa mwingine who decided to be with uh, Strong Tower Ministry, aliamua kuwa na Strong Tower Ministry. I'm going to invite nitamwalika sasa. Evo David Amata. Karibu. Welcome. Karibu. Welcome. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the next one who's decided to be uh, with the Strong Tower Ministries. Mwingine aliamua kuwa na Strong Tower Ministry. I would like to invite Ningependa kumwalika. Pastor Violet Adiambo. Pastor Violet Adiambo. Amen. Karibu Pastor. Welcome Pastor. Welcome. Welcome. Uh I I just want to to tell you Ningependa niwaeleze that in Strong Tower Ministries at Kwa Strong Tower Ministry we believe in empowering the woman. Tunaamini kwa kutia nguvu mwanamke. You know God created the woman, the man and woman. Mungu aliumba mme na mwanamke in his image. Katika viungo uh, vyake. Not only man. Ah uh, sio wanaume peke yake. And the woman doesn't have a smaller holy spirit. Na mwanamke sio kwamba kuna roho ndogo. The woman has the same holy spirit that man has. Wako na roho ile inafanana na ile mwanaume wako nayo. So we believe to empower women. Kwa hivyo tunawainua wanadada pia. So I believe that uh, Pastor Violet. Naamini ya kwamba mchungaji Violet actually has a calling to be a prophet. Ah kuna mwito kuwa ya kiunabii. 
God is revealing to prophet Violet many things. Mungu anamfunulia mnabii Violet vitu nyingi. Now I call her pastor. Namuita mchungaji kwa sasa. But I really believe that in the Fifo Ministries. Lakini najua katika zile karama tatu, Isano, she's a prophet. Yeah, yeah, ni mnabii. That her calling is a prophet. Mwisho wake ni unabii. So she will have her part to do in what's going to happen. Atakuwa na sehemu yake katika kazi itakavyofanyika. She needs to be consulted. Lazima tutamuuliza. Because God speaks to her. Mungu anazungumza kupitia yeye. God reveals things to her way before things happen. Mungu alimfunulia vitu hata kabla zifanyike. God even revealed to her the state of my heart. Mungu pia akamfunulia hali ya moyo wake. So I believe that she's a prophet. Na amini yeye ni mnabii. So praise God. Amina. Amina. Buena sifiwe. Amina. Hope I grow up. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the last that is actually present here today. Mtu wa mwisho mwenye yuko nasi leo. Hipo. 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 Yes. What does it mean? Hip like that. Oh like that. Yeah. Uh, Hipo. Hipo. I would like to invite ah, Nigapenda ni mkaribishe Pastor Agre Odwo Pastor Agre Odwo na niko hapa translator <laughs> yule anaye tafsiri kwa sasa the translator so anaye tafsiri kwa sasa karibu pastor asante Karibu. asante thank you so we have two people who are not here tuko na watu wawili wenye hawako hapa they are in Bungoma wako Bungoma you know where is Bungoma <coughs> najua Bungoma ni wapi So we have two pastors from Bungoma who have decided to join Strong Tower Ministry. Yuko na wachungaji wawili kutoka Bungoma wameamua kuingia Strong Tower Ministry. Uh there's Pastor Benson Barasa. Anaitwa mchungaji Benson Barasa. And there's Pastor Zachary Wanyonyi. Na mchungaji Zachary Wanyonyi. 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 <laughs> Wanyonyi. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So give it up please. Don't so I'm going I'm, I'm going come on. I'm going to talk to you. So it's a uh, it's a privilege to know you. We love you. Mama can you come with Mama kuja si mama karibu na mshukaji. We like to, you know, we believe that for the couple to work together. You know, the Bible says that we become with one flesh. We're not two anymore. We're one. Like my wife, she's not my my half. My wife is my 100%. And I'm 100%. So that means we are 200. Kumaanisha sisi ni asili 200. That's why the couple is so powerful. Ipoza watu wakiwa wamewaleta ni watu wenye nguvu. Hallelujah. Amen. So we love you. Tunawapenda. We believe in you. Tunawaamini. We are leaving tomorrow. Tunaondoka kesho. <laughs> So that means that we're going to watch you from far. Kumaanisha tutawaangalia kutoka mbali. We won't be here. Atatakuwa hapo hapa. We will be here in spirit. Tutakuwa hapa kiroho in love katika upendo with you. Pamoja nanyi. We believe in the in the work. Tunaamini hiyo kazi. We believe in the seed that is actually planted right now here. Na mbegu yenye imepandwa hapa hivi. So the responsibility kazi kubwa of the growth ya kuendeleza of the strong tower ministry strong, in Kenya strong tower ministry hapa Kenya is on, on your shoulders ni katika shingo lenu of you feel right now eh <laughs> bwana hizi namna sasa hivi so we believe to we believe in you tunawaamini 
We believe in your willingness na katika kujitoa kwenu your submission na kwa kujitarisha your obedience na kwa kunyenyekea even if you might not understand everything hata kama hamuelewi kila kitu and i believe that in one year from now na bila kwamba mwaka mmoja toka sasa it's going to be another picture itakuwa picha tofauti sana hallelujah glory to jesus there's going to be a lot of babies kutakuwa kuna watoto wengi strong power ministry wa strong power ministry because it's, it's an apostolic movement kwa sababu ni mwito wa utume it's not an evangelistic movement sio ya waubiri it's an apostolic movement ni mwito ya kiutume that is going to be well established yeye itakuwa na msingi with the apostles and prophets na uh, wanabii pamoja na watume hallelujah hallelujah so i would like ningependa some of you didn't get any canadian flag wengine wetu hawakupata bendera kutoka canada uh like pastor gordon and mama you you just got one ah abichungani gordon na mama mshapata yenu so you already have one muko na yenu sasa but uh, pastor isaac jungadi isaac they didn't get one au kupata bendera so i would like to uh, offer you pastor isaac ningependa nikupatie mchungaji isaac bendera ya nchi ya canada canadian flag bendera kutoka canada as a remembrance kwa kukukuka that we love you ya kwamba tunakupenda that first we are citizens of heaven kwanza sisi ni watu wa mbinguni but on the earth we are the need lakini hapa ulimwenguni tunatoka Canada and then we were together na tunafanya kazi pamoja amina 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 haleluya amen uh, the second one is pastor jacob moto wa pili ni mchungaji jacob <laughs> he's happy you can see he's happy yes. amen right sana tunakupenda nikukumbuka ya kwamba tulikuwa hapa and we were together na tukafanya kazi pamoja and thank you for embracing asante kwa kupokea the vision of strong power ministry maono ya strong power ministry haleluya amen 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 glory to god haleluya 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 pastor jane ah jogadi jet we don't know you much hatuja kujua sana but we been to your place lakini tumekuja kwako in your house kwa nyumba yako where you you faith, you are faithfully starting over mahali unaanzia tena from ground zero kutoka kwa zero you had you you had a ministry ulikuwa na huduma uh, it's been taken from you na ikachukuliwa kwako you fell on the ground au kanyenyekea but you get up lakini unainuka sasa now you get up again sasa inoka tena We believe in you. Tunakuamini. God is with you. Mungu wako na wewe. Thank you for starting again in your house. Asante kwa kuanza tena kwa nyumba. You will have support. Utakuwa na tutakusaidia. These are your your teammates. Hawa ndio watakusaidia. And they have their different gifts. Na wako na karama tofauti tofauti. They will work with you. Watafanya kazi pamoja na wewe. For you to become successful in the ministry. Ili upate kufaulu katika huduma. But first as a child of God. Kwanza kama mtoto wa Mungu and second as a woman of God. Na kama mwanamke katika huduma. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Congratulations. Asante, barikiwa. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Amen. We are part of the same team. Yes. Prophet Violet. Ah, sasa nabii Violet. Wow. Yes. Uh, she will need you atawaitaji to step in in her full calling ile mjiunge katika mwito wake in her full ministry katika mwito kamili yake she will need you atawaitaji 
Because her success ili afaulu is your success. Ni kufaulu kwetu is our success. Na ni kufaulu kwetu sisi sote. And this is how we know if we're going to be it. Na hii hapa ndio tunajua uongozi. The success of others ah wengine wakifaulu is your success. Ni kufaulu kwako pia as leaders. Kama viongozi. So proper violence Sasa na be violent the privilege to know you ni nafasi nzuri kwa jua i know you feel the presence of god very strong on you right now bona pata nguvu za mungu juu yako sasa hivi hapa mkono wako sasa i just declare the power of the holy spirit over you na tangaza nguvu za roho takatifu juu yako that we you will be led utaongozwa that we, you will be directed utaelekezwa This Holy Spirit is going to walk in front of you. And that you're going to obey. Na <laughs> utati. Yes. Yes. Because you already obeyed. Kwa sababu tayari umetii. When you didn't understand. Hata bila kuelewa. But the Holy Spirit was showing you. Like the yale ro ilikuwa inakuonyesha. You obeyed. Uliti. You stood strong. Ukasema maimara. And that's why God is going to raise you up. Ni kwa sababu Mungu atakuinua. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Opa tu. Hallelujah Bwana atikiwe. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you Lord. Asante Yesu. Thank you Jesus. Asante Yesu. Okay. So I give you the Canadian flag. Natupatia Canada. And thank you for praying for us. Na asante kwa kutuombea. Amina. 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 Pastor Yes. Pastor. Pastor Santa Nyawe. I remember when we went to pray in your house. Nakumbuka tulipokuja kuomba kwa nyumba yako. And I remember that God was saying na kumbuka Mungu alikuwa anasema feed my sheep lesha kwa ndoa yangu I still remember bado nakumbuka God is saying the same thing today bado anasema hivyo tena leo God has a good plan for you Mungu hapa na mpango njema kwako you might not understand everything wewe utaelewa kila kitu just trust him wewe amini tu Mungu wewe amini tu Mungu wewe amini tu Mungu yes yes trust him just trust him amini tu Mungu I remember that we prayed for for your mama. Nakumbuka tuliombea mama. And she got some healing. Na kapata mponyaki. And also she birthed something in the spirit. Na nikaona kadhaa kitu kiroho. I'm telling you, Apostle. Na kwambia mtume, in one year from now. Mwaka mmoja toka sasa. The picture is going to, going to be totally different. Picha itakuwa tofauti kabisa kabisa. I see you travel. Naona ukitembea. I see you travel. Now I'm going to be here. And the fire is going to follow you. Na moto itakufuata. I see you travel. Then I'm going to be here. Don't worry. Uti jali. When God is directing, Mungu anapoelekeza, God is providing. Anapeana pia. So yes. Presence of God is very strong. Yes. The Holy Spirit is here. So in the name of Jesus, we are giving you this Canadian flag. And that's a sign. Of our partnership. Yeah, Amen. 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 Amen.
you have you have a soft heart. Kuna moyo ambayo imenyoroka. You are a teacher. Wewe ni mwalimu. Actually, uh, we did a teaching for uh, uh, eight weeks. No, uh, how many weeks? Six weeks. We did a teaching. It's called Strong Tower Base, uh, Strong Tower Basic Discipleship. And four people have been selected to be the teachers to continue the teachings. So we have Pastor Agri who has been selected. We have Pastor Jane who has been selected. Actually she's very good to teach on tithe and offering. <laughs> so if you want to invite her, she's very so come on tap of Karabisha and Isala for Fundisha Pungula Kumina Toleo Aquapa. So Pastor Jacob has been selected as one of the teachers. Jugali Akopia and Jabuleo Kamu Moja or Nibu. And Pastor Gordon has been selected to be one of the teachers. Nam Jugali Gordon Pia and Jabuleo Kamu Moja or Nibu. I just find it interesting that the ones that we've selected to be teachers. You may pata ya Puraya Pomba when you do your Jabuleo or Kamu or Nibu. Are taking the decision to continue with Strong Tower Ministries. And he said that he said, Oh, it was prophetic. Hallelujah. Amen. So, Pastor Agri, we give you another flag. We bless you in the name of Jesus. And I just see you right now, I see the picture. Na, na iyo picha nzuri. Of you carrying the, the torch. Ya kwamba wewe umebeba ile mwanga. You are carrying the torch of Strong Tower Ministry. Umebeba ile torch ya Strong Tower Ministry. And you do it with all your heart. Na unaifanya na moyo wako wote. Joyfully. Unaifanya na furaha. Because you know. Kwa sababu unaijua. What's been established right now, right now. Here. In the name of Jesus. I bless you right now. It's only the beginning. Thank you, Lord. It's only the beginning. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Praise God. Praise God. So Pastor Isaac has been chosen to be the coordinator of the ministry. I can say that it's not a small task. Um, there's a lot of you on your shoulder. Kuna uzito ambayo iko katika mgongoni mwako. But Jesus says to take his yoke. Na Yesu akasema chukua hiyo mzigo because his yoke is light and easy. Kwa sababu mzigo wa Yesu Kristo ni nyepesi. Pastor Isaac will need your help. Mchungaji Isaac atahitaji usaidizi wenu. It's a teamwork. It's not a one person work. Some of you have very good ideas. He needs your input. And to believe that the Holy Spirit is going to lead him. We will be in touch. We will be in touch. And we will be in touch. If you need to reach me, I'm available. You know, Jesus was accessible. 
Ndiyo Yesu alikuwa anapatikana. Even his own disciples could ask him questions. Hata wafuasi wake wangemuuliza swali. Even his own disciples can, could say. Hata wanafunzi wake wangesema, Are you sure Jesus? Ye, uko na hakika Yesu? He was the son of God. Alikuwa mwana wa Mungu. And his own disciples could question his decisions. Na hata wafuasi wake wangemuuliza swali. So we have to be accessible even if we are leaders. Sasa lazima tupatikane hata kama sisi ni viongozi. And I think you have this quality. Na najua uko na hizo tabia. And I just pray for wisdom right now in the name of Jesus. Na kuombea kwa ajili ya hekima katika jina la Yesu Kristo. I pray the wisdom from above in the name of Jesus. Haya mwerishi ile wisdom kutoka juu mbinguni. And that you going to lead me. Ya kwamba utawaongoza wengi. You going to lead many. Utaenda kuongoza wengi. And because you you respect people. Na kwa sababu unaheshimu watu, people are going to respect you. Watu watakuheshimu. Because you are a man of integrity. Kwa sababu wewe ni mtu ambaye anatamani. People are going to respect you. Watu watakuheshimu. People are going to show integrity with you. Watu wataonyesha ni mbaya kwa ajili ya wewe. And I just see in the spirit right now. Tena naiona kiroho sasa hivi. That the Lord is going you to He's going to give you eyes. Ya kwamba mtu atakupea macho to to actually see the hearts of the people. Ili uweze ukaona mioyo ya watu. Like Jesus was able to see the hearts of the people. Yesu Yesu Kristo aliweza kuona mioyo ya watu. You will see the eyes the hearts of the people. Hata wewe utaona mioyo ya watu. You will have discernment. Utaona ile ugunu ya kubagua. And the Lord is going to reveal to you. Na Mungu atakuonyesha who's the right person. Ni nani anayefaa? And who is not the right person? Na ni nani asiyefaa? So be it. Sasa wacha ikuwe hivyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wacha ikuwe hivyo katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Asante Mungu. So right now I just want to anoint you. Sasa hivi wanataka kupaka. So right now I just say coordinator. Nasema wewe sasa kama utakuwa muunganishi kwa desperate in this. Na sasa naiweka hivi. So we go, we're going to be watching you. So tutakuangalia we you are entering in your in your probation period. Una, unaenda katika kazi ambayo bado utaangaliwa. Hmm. You know the Bible says about the deacons. Biblia inasema katika ile wasaidizi wa kanisa to prove them first to test them first. Ya kwamba muwajaribu kwanza. So we are going to prove you first. Sasa so tutaanza kujaribu kwanza. We're going to test you first. Tutaenda kujaribu kwanza. But we want to anoint you. Lakini tunataka kukupaka in the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu. We are anointing you right now. Tutakupaka sasa hivi. With the authority that has been given to us. Na mamlaka tuliyopewa. We anoint you right now. Tunakupaka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. We anoint you right now in the name of Jesus. Tunakupaka katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Wisdom. Wisdom. Ekima. I see that you're going to have dreams and visions. Naona utakuwa na ndoto na ufunduo. I see the Holy Spirit leading you. Naona Roho Mtakatifu inakuongoza, guiding you, inakuelekeza and giving love in your heart. Na inakupea upendo katika roho yako. For those kwa wale with whom you're going to work with. Bayo utafanya kazi pamoja nao. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you for the humility. Asante kwa kunyenyekea and the willingness na kukubali to say yes. Kusema ndiyo. Now it's too late. Na sasa hivi na imechelewa. We cannot go back. Uwezi ukarudi tena. It's too late now. Ni imechelewa. You have to walk in the way that is ahead of you. Lazima utembee kwa ile njia ambayo iko mbele yako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Amen. Hallelujah. Asante Yesu.
Thank you for this good wife. Asante kwa ajili ya mke mwema. And thank you for the direction. Asante kwa mwelekeo ee Mungu. Thank you because there's more coming. Asante kwa ajili mengi yanayokuja. Way more coming. Kuna mengi ambayo yako njiani. And thank you because she's she's a mama. Asante kwa sababu yeye ni mama wetu. She's a mama for many. Yeye ni mama ya wengi. You're going to raise her up. Unaenda kumuinua juu. And she's going to embrace a lot of young women. Na taenda kumbatia wanawake wengi. And to be a mama. Na kuwa mama. She's going to represent you Father. Taenda kuwakilisha ewe baba. She's going to represent your kingdom. Na taenda kuwakilisha ufalme wako. In the name of Jesus. Katika jina la Yesu Kristo. Thank you Lord. Asante Mungu. Thank you Lord. Asante Mungu. Thank you Lord for what you're doing. Asante Mungu kwa yale ambayo unafanya. You know everything Father. Unajua kila kitu wewe Mungu. You know everything. Unajua kila kitu. You know your son. Unajua ile kijana yako. You know your servant. Unajua mtumishi wako. And you given the given the strength. Na ukampa nguvu. And the capacity na ukampa kwa wewe wake to serve ili aanze in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu thank you lord asante Mungu thank you lord to, to for giving him the help asante kwa sababu kwa kumtoa na msaidizi to establish leaders ili aweke viongozi for the work of the ministry katika kazi ya huduma give him wisdom kutae hekima give him strength kutae nguvu in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu show him umuonyeshe who ni nani who to train for the work of the ministry nani ambaye afunde kwa ajili ya kazi ya huduma in the name of Jesus katika jina la Yesu amen amen hallelujah 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 thank you Jesus hallelujah 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 can you stand please tuende tukasimama zote juu